what I want to do is just it's, it's simple, clean, just three questions that we just flow from there. Uh, the first question is, um, before you got into the business that you're in, what has happened that you totally could not have foreseen? What type of business situations have you encountered that you could totally not foresee? Yeah, I mean, a lot of the, you know, a lot of what's happening, I could totally not foreseen. I always felt like, like I wouldn't rest until things happen for me. Like even now, I feel like there's a lot of stuff that you know, unsettled, that that I want to see happen. That mm -hmm. so, yeah, I don't know. I just I figure I'm gonna just work, work towards it till it happens. Um, everything is, you know, I don't, you don't see it, but then as as it's happening, you're like, oh yeah, that was that was supposed to happen. And you move on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing specific? Like, wow, I didn't see this particular thing happen. No, not really. <laughs> not really? So it's just like, everything is like... It's... Just... No, I mean, the thing, the truth is, I don't have a plan. So, okay. So it's not like I set things up that I, you know... So everything that's happening, I'm kind of like, oh, great, this is, you know, this path is working, or I could take this route, or, okay. you know, it's not like I, I need to be doing this in two years, this in five years, this in, you know, I've never had a plan. Really? So, I'm sorry to screw your whole no, no. business. <laughs> no, no. Like, no, sometimes that's, like, having, probably not having a plan was your plan and your method, because yeah. maybe you're just a person who No, that's true. I mean, right? well, the thing is, I just wanted... I guess my plan is to do stuff I'm interested in. That's it. That's it. So whether it's you know things grow in the studio, you know I start doing larger production, sort of as painting and sculpture, or if my direction goes in a different path, as long as I'm following that, mm -hmm. you know I could I could like totally go backwards and just you know be in a small apartment but be making the work I want to make, as long as that's like what's happening. That's like the fulfillment of the plan. I can't really say that I hate any part of it. You know, like I kind of, I'm really, I'm interested primarily in the creative, like making the work, designing mm -hmm. the work. But then I'm also, you know, I love seeing it release and I love seeing it like hit into the world. And so it's not like happens. anything like, like, like for me, I hate meetings. I would rather be like in creative right. mode like all the time, but the, if the business meeting is a necessity. Well, you understand? See, I don't get myself in situations like that. I don't really do many business meetings. Really? Yeah, I manage to finagle around that. So that's a part that you hate, but you just happen to. Yeah, I try to keep it as minimal. Right. Not that I hate it. I mean, some you know, good things come from meetings. Sometimes it's interesting. Uh -huh. So. Uh, am I being too positive for you? Is that no, 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 no. Really. The, the, the key to this whole thing is I want people to see the, the, the different processes behind it. Yeah. Because people think that it's just one way to do it. And no, I want to I show... Mean, that, you know, it'll never, it'll never be... Like, whatever worked for me wouldn't work for another artist. That absolutely. Works, you know, like absolutely. I, I get emails sometimes, like, you know, people ask me, can you give me advice? And I'm like... Don't take advice, that's my advice. You know what I mean? You have to like figure out what what sort of is lining up for you and follow that. It's not, there's no like cookie cutter way of doing it. I agree with you 100% because people always ask me advice on how to write a book. And I'm like, yeah. seriously, just write it because that's what I did. I don't know, like what I relied on, I relied on my own individual skill sets to produce this book. So for me to try to tell you to do that thing, it's, it's impossible. I just happen to be a designer. I happen to have like, you know, some uh, OCD qualities and stuff like that to make it to what it is. Every for me to try to project that on you and say this is how you're supposed to do it, you know, it's not going to necessarily yeah, it won't fall work line. And it won't be true, and people will see that and then Absolutely. Be successful. Absolutely. It's, it's really what I was just saying as far as like being able to do what you want to do. Like I wait, you know, I never, actually you know what, as far as not foreseeing what, I never thought I'd be able to have, growing up, how I grew up, like arts wasn't really an option, it wasn't something that, I didn't know anybody who was like, art was their business, you mm -hmm. know? It was like you're presented with these paths that are very basic, like 
be a fireman, be a right. lawyer, be a doctor. Right. You know. So, I mean, I'm psyched that I could I can make stuff. I can make the stuff I want to do. I don't have to do projects I'm not interested in. And yeah, just. So success is being able to do what like your passion. Yeah, not having to like to wake up and, and do something for someone else. You know, I'm, at times I work, I feel like I work for somebody else when I, you know, I do these projects. And, mm -hmm. But at any point, the reality is I could, I could step off, I could stop, and it's not going to, it just changes my path. It's not like, it's not like I have to show up at work, you know? Right, right. If I chose today to just say fuck everyone and stay in bed, I could have. It might set me back a few steps, but it's my choice. Right. You know, it's not like there's no one to fire me. Right, you basically find yourself. Yeah. I was just in a conversation um, to somebody about HD, uh, high definition television, uh, uh, TV. And they said that they don't really mind because they feel like it's just a nano difference. And I was like, Absolutely. but to me, that nano difference is the only thing that matters. I don't want to see like a close up of like the pores of Mark Wahlberg. Oh, nah, 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 you wouldn't want to see that. You want to see that.